Shalom. Koholo Yahweh Bashim El Shah Bashim Kakandaz. The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, the great millstone rule well and toss his truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there. This priest's word and the truth and sincerity throughout four corners of earth. Tabernacle David, hopeful lake. And speckle bird, the one say Shalom. So I got a couple articles that I want to read through. You know, hey, these are the times that we're living in. Nuclear war is on a, <laughs> hey, nuclear war is looming, man. It's coming. And that's, um, that's in the scriptures as well. That's prophesied in the scriptures that nuclear war is going to happen. And, uh, you know, I thought this was funny right here. Inside Biden's doomsday plane, plane which he will fly on if nuclear war happens. <laughs> and the scripture that came right into my mind, man, let's go to it. You know, a lot of these elites, a lot of these top officials, you know, they may they may escape nuclear war. They may not be bombed in these uh, nuclear missiles, but they're going to be the, if they're Edomites, they're going to be the first ones to go into slavery, boy. <laughs> All right, so you can hide, you can fly away, you can do whatever you want, man. Just like that face that you're making, man, it's going to be even worse. <laughs> you're really going to be crying. Look at this, man. Down Satan. Come on. Let me see if it ends up showing it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go to the scripture. But yeah, you got... Biden right there, Sleepy Joe, deceiving the masses of the people. I thought, I thought, um, I thought this plague was over with. You see, this man Esau Edom, man, he's a physician of no value, man. He's confused. He's a double-minded man. You know, he he's trying to convince these people, which a lot of these people are waking up to your propaganda that what you've been saying ain't the truth, man. That you've been lying to the people. That a lot of these people out here are just dropping dead from the stuff that you're putting out, man. But uh, for this Joe Biden and you elites, man, let's go ahead and get this scripture, though. Slacky, let me turn to it. Amos 9 and 1. Uh, Slacky, nope. That's not it. Yep, yep, that's it. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar and said, smite the lintel on the door. And the post may shake and cut them in the head, all of them. And I will say the least of them with the sword. And he that fleeth of them shall not flee away. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. All right. It's not going to happen. <laughs> the Lord got some hot ones for you. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. And though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. So, your underground bunkers, your space stations, your airplanes, wherever you at, man, to try to escape nuclear fallout. It's not a, if you escape it, Lord's still going to find you, man. And guess what? He's going to use the man of the Lord. He's going to have his son, the angels. All right. And though they hide themselves in the top of the caramel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight, which really the Lord eyes are ten times brighter than the sun. The Lord sees you, man. Inside of the bottom of the sea, this why I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Now the serpent is Leviathan, man. So you you got Yahushai, the angels, the men of the Lord with spiritual powers, new bodies. Leviathan. It's not looking well for you, Esau, you know, man. You're not going to be able to hide in that day. You think that you're going to get away. You think that you're going to hide. Well, it's not going to happen, man. Tensions, tensions between Washington and both Moscow and Beijing remains high over Ukraine and Taiwan, respectively. There are growing fears nuclear weapons could be deployed for the first time since 1945. Russia poses an acute threat to the U.S., including VA. Nuclear weapons, according to the recent Pentagon report, if the U.S. mainland is threatened, which is not threatened, it's going to happen. OK, it's going to happen. President Biden 
and other top officials could aboard one of four doomsday planes, which are designed to act as mobile command and control posts in the event of nuclear war. Well, what about your other people, man? Shows that they don't care. They don't care about these people. They do not care about you. All right, they're going to fly away and get away from this nuclear destruction while y'all, while uh, the people down here crash and burn. But guess what? The elect is going to be good. The elect is going to be good, man. Let me get this real quick. Let's get a class one. Let's get, um, what's that scripture? It's like in Malachi 4 and 1. Malachi 4 and 1, for behold, the day of coming that shall burn as an oven and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly. So that's going to be Esau, Edom, and you two thirds shall be stubble in the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, and shall lead them neither root nor branch. All right? So y'all going to get burnt up, man. And these top officials, banking families, they're going to escape. But they're going to be the first ones to uh, board slavery, man. Hey, that's going to be the last time you're going to enjoy luxury. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. He shall go forth and grow upon the calves of the stalls. So pretty much you're going to get beamed up. You're not going to get burned up. All right. You shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In that, in the day that I shall do this. So the Lord said, in the day that I shall do this. That's why we spiritual and not carnal. That's why we ain't gearing up. Hey, we just preach the word. That's all we do. And Esau Edom is mad about that. You know, because we're not like these other uprising of our, of our people, man, where they're gearing up with guns and they're promoting, go get a gun. And, and that's how you're going to protect yourself. All right. We telling you, hey, come serve the Lord. Come to get this truth while you can. And hey, if you're the elect, if you're elect man, you're going to get that spiritual power. And the Lord going to take care of you, man. All right. So you're going to tread down the wicked, man. Lord going to give you that power. Let's see. Isaiah 35 and verse 3, strengthen ye the weak hands and confirm the feeble knees, saying to them that are a fearful heart, because it's going to be, man, it's going to be scary, scary in the days to come. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your power will come with vengeance, even power with recompense, and he will come and save you. So the Lord is going to destroy our enemies and he's going to come and save us. He's going to beam us, beam us up. And also down here in Jacob's trouble, he's going to give the man of the Lord spiritual power. All right. And he's going to come back with those new bodies with spiritual power. and going to take your enemies in slavery, man. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that, in that day shall the Lord Yahweh, Bashim al Shah, defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among you, among them, at that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as power and as the angel of the Lord. Yeah, how will before them? So spiritual power's coming. We're going to be taken care of, man. We're going to be good. While everybody else down here, you see these top officials, they're gearing up to leave these people, man. <laughs> okay? According to the Air Force, it was created to provide a highly survivable command, <laughs> control, communication system. Hey, that's just the Lord setting you up to be the first ones to go into slavery, man. In the event of a national emergency or destruction of ground-based command centers. So they already planned this, man. You know, there's no coincidence why they have a doomsday clock. All right. Why in the height of your kingdom, you have a dooms doomsday clock. You counting down the time in which you're going to be taken out of power. Come on, man. You know, we, we, we ain't going to have no doomsday clock. And in in our power, man. Let's see. I think I'm gonna get this one. Uh, let's see. While that loads up, I'll get this scripture. And then we'll go ahead and close out. Get a couple more scriptures. Read a little bit of this. 
2 Ezra 6 and verse 9, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. All right, so you know, you know, this is your last hurrah. This, this is your last hurrah, man. Zechariah 3 and 8, therefore wait ye upon me. We waiting upon the Lord, man. Say if you how will until the day that I rise up for the prey for my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my in the nation righteous anger. All right, because all of them have had a hand, some shape, form, or way in putting us into slavery and gaining, gaining gains from us being in slavery. All right, to pour upon them my in the nation, even my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right, so nuclear missiles and the Lord coming back, jacking these people up. So it says Putin is acute nuclear threat to U.S. homeland Pentagon. Vladimir Putin and Russia are viewed by the Pentagon as acute threat based on Ukraine invasion, escalated threats of nuclear warfare. So it's coming, man. It, hey, why do you like it tonight? It's coming. If I could get this scripture real quick. All right, because World War Three is coming. It's practically here. We just in the beginning stages of it. This is Revelation eleven and fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. So the third woe, third uh, World War Three is coming, man. Let's see where was I at. While the People's Republic of China is acknowledged a posing and a pacing challenge to the U.S., Russian actions are viewed as more urgent. All right, because the Lord is, is gearing up that spirit, man. It's a time of war, okay? Contemptuous and neighbors of independent Russian government seek to use force to impose border changes and reimpose the imperial uh, so fear of influence, the report said to uh, its extensive track record and territorial aggression includes the escalation of brutal, unprovoked war against the Ukraine. Russia presents the most uh, uh, acute example of potentially, uh, potentially, uh, potentially sloppy, escalated to nuclear war employment. Given it significantly large stockpile regional nuclear systems and its possibility, it will use force and to try to win the war of the perfurium or avoid defeat as it was in danger of losing uh, conventional warfare. The report said, no, nah, no, nah, they, hey, these Russians, man, they've been training, man. They ready for war. You know, you can glance over and say that they that they losing, or you know, and they're in the midst of losing. They 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 gearing up for war, man. All right, they've been ready for war. Lord Lord has put in that spirit, and I'm ready for war. Okay, and those nuclear nuclear tests they've been doing, or you know, that spirit that's being geared up in them, they they ready, man, and they're gonna shoot those nukes. And it's not going to be pretty for the people down here, man. It's not going to be pretty. So take heed while you have the chance. All right? Take heed while you have the chance. Because it's not going to be pretty down here. Let me see. I think I'm going to get this last scripture and I'll close out. This is Ezekiel 38 and verse 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog in the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesied against him. And that's what we do out there on the highways and byways, prophesied against Esau, Edom. And we telling the people what's going to happen. Nuclear war is coming. So you can gear up in your nuclear uh, ready airplane. You still ain't going to escape prophecy and say, thus save your power, 
Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief of the prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. All right. So wherever the Lord says go, you know, as, as you would put a hook in a fish jaw. And if you got the strength, you're going to pull it up. It's going to go to you. Well, that's what the Lord is doing to uh, Esau Edom over there in Russia. And I will bring forth on thy army horsemen and horse, horses and horsemen, all them clothed with a sword of armor and a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So war, war is coming, man. It is coming. Nuclear war is coming. As it says, President Joe Biden recently warned Russia the provocations regarding the use of nuclear weapons or a serious mistake why because you're you you you're going to lose man aside from nuclear threats the US is worried of Russia's long range cruise missiles cyber and information operations chemical and biological weapons underwater warfare and gray zones campaign targets against democracies because war is coming man you it's it's inedible it's coming you you can warn them all you want, man. The Lord has, has set jaws, slacky, has set hooks in their jaws, and there's nothing that you can do about it. All right, with that, shalom.